Do you want to know the best places to live in New Jersey? Well, as always, you've come to the right place. This week, I'm going to share with you the 10 best places to live in New Jersey. And this is according to niche.com. This is their most updated list for 2022. Let's get started. As you all know, I really love this website, niche.com. I refer this to my clients all the time. This is an excellent resource if you want to do research on towns and you want to learn about the crime data, the schools, all that stuff. It's really great resource. So these rankings that they do every year, how they base their rankings, there are a multitude of factors that they consider. Now, the most important ones being obviously the cost of living, higher education rate, meaning you know how many people in the town have a bachelor's degree or higher. They have the housing grade, which they look at the median home value values, the cost of the homes and the property taxes. And of course they have their public schools grade, you know, they rank how well the schools are too. And now they, they combine all this information together to come up with the rankings of the best places. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this list right now. Coming in at number 10 of the best places to live in New Jersey is Hohokus. Now you've heard me talk about Hohokus before. Hohokus is ranked as one of the best places in Bergen County to live. It's a great little town, a very small population of just over 4,000 people. It has a really quaint downtown. You've heard me mention this before. It's just, it's just adorable. It's such a great little place. Now the median home value in Hohokus is $756,000 and your median rent is going to be about $2,400 per month. The school system in Hohokus is very unique. And I think it's like one of the only school systems in the state that have the elementary and middle school in one building. They have one public school in Hohokus, which goes from kindergarten through eighth grade, which I think it's it's a it's a really cool model. I mean, they haven't used that model in years in other areas. I mean, you don't hear of that anymore. So I think that's really cool that they have this K through eight public school in the town. And then from that public school, kids move on to high school. They go to Northern Highlands Regional High school, which is located in Allendale. So, and again, we all know that Northern Highlands was ranked like one of the best high schools in the state. Your property tax is in Hohokus. Now this is based on a 2020 average tax bill. You're looking at just about $16,000 and change, maybe just under $17,000 a year. Okay. Not the best, but for such a great little town, great school system, I think Hohokus has a lot to offer. Coming in at number nine is Glen Rock, another Bergen County town. Of course. So Glen Rock, it's a medium sized town. It's got just under 12,000 residents. Your median home value is $646,800. Your median rent is about $1,800 per month. Now we all know Glen Rock. I've mentioned Glen Rock before. It's got a fabulous downtown, easily accessible to New York City. Glen Rock has its own train station. They also have a lot of buses that go into New York City. So this makes Glen Rock a very desirable town to live in because of those who need to commute into the city. Now the Glen Rock schools, as we know, I've mentioned in the past, I've done my videos about the best schools in Bergen County. Glen Rock has always ranked very high. As a matter of fact, for a number of years, Glen Rock High School was ranked the best high school in the state. So you're getting top-notch education in Glen Rock. Property taxes, that's going to run you a little bit. You're, you're looking at about $17,000 a year. Again, this is based on the 2020 average tax bill. Coming in at number eight is Monmouth Junction. Monmouth Junction is actually the unincorporated community located within South Brunswick, New Jersey. So this is located in central New Jersey. It's a pretty small town with only a population of 2,900 people, but your median home value is $433,000 and your rent is about $2,300 a month. So this does make it a little bit more affordable. As far as schools are concerned, the children attend schools in the South Brunswick School District, which is a highly rated district. The taxes there are actually not that bad. You're looking at about $9,700 a year, again, based on the 2020 tax bill. So this town is pretty attractive because it does appear to be a pretty affordable place to live in New Jersey. And you do have access to New York City. You can commute to the city from here. Okay, the number seven best place to live in New Jersey, another Bergen County town, Haworth. Haworth is a small town, just a population of 3,418 people. The median home values there are $691,000. Your rent, it's pretty steep, it's about $3,500 a month. Now, what's nice about Haworth, it's very easily accessible to New York City. It's located on the eastern side of Bergen County. Haworth School
schools, the elementary schools are top rated. And for high school, the students from Haworth attend Northern Valley Regional High School located in Demarest, which is a very highly ranked high school, not only within Bergen County, but within the state as well. Now your taxes in Haworth are a little steep. You're looking at about $18,000 a year in property taxes. So yeah, a small town like that, your taxes are going to be on the higher end, but it really doesn't take away for what a great town Haworth is. It's if you're looking for that small town feel, you're going to find that in Haworth. Coming in at number six is Upper Montclair. Upper Montclair is obviously located near the, the town of Montclair. I will say Montclair, and I'm going to put Upper Montclair into this category as well as like one of the hottest towns where people were buying houses during the pandemic. I still think that's true to this day. It's so close to New York City, very easily accessible. Plus Montclair itself has an amazing downtown. It's It's got a really nice urban feel. So for those who live in New York City, they found Montclair and Upper Montclair very attractive for that reason. Now, the population in Upper Montclair is about 11,589 people. Your median home price, you're looking at $766,000. And the median rent is $2,000 a month. Upper Montclair was also ranked as one of the best suburbs to live in New Jersey. It was ranked number three as one of the best suburbs. So it, this, this place is pretty desirable. Now, the taxes are not cheap in Montclair or Upper Montclair. Montclair, you're looking at about average tax bill of $19,000 a year. But look, the price you got to pay, you want to have that urban feel and access to New York City. There are prices to pay, my friends. Coming in at number five, Princeton Meadows. Princeton Meadows is located in Middlesex County. Medium-sized town has got a population of about 13,700 people. The median home value is $392,000, and your median rent is about $1,600 per month. Princeton Meadows is actually an unincorporated community that's located within Plainsboro Township. So the kids that live in Princeton Meadows attend schools in the Plainsboro School District. Now, also, Princeton Meadows was ranked as one of the best places to raise a family in New Jersey. So it's a small town, it's got a small town feel, and they the kids do attend top-rated schools such as West Windsor, Plainsboro High School North and South. When I read the reviews on niche.com, the common denominator I see here is the safety. People love how safe this town is. So that's a really great thing. And the affordability. I mean, that price point, it's you know, median home value is not bad at all. Coming in at number four. Princeton. Okay, we all know Princeton is famous for Princeton University, obviously, but this town is very desirable. It's a pretty large town. It's got a population of about of 31,000 people. Your median home price there is $866,000. Yeah, it's not cheap. The median rent will run you about $1,500 per month. Now your property taxes in Princeton, they're going to run you about $20,000 a year. Not cheap. But one of the things that residents love about living here is because it's a college town, you have Princeton University. When the university holds a lot of events, they're open to the public as well, which is really cool. So they have that option to attend things at the university. And also on niche.com, they ranked Princeton as the number two place with the best public schools. So you are getting really top-notch schools there in Princeton. Okay, moving right along. The third best place to live in New Jersey, Ridgewood. Okay, we all know Ridgewood's located in Bergen County. Ridgewood is actually the best town to live in in Bergen County. It has a population of about 25,000 people. Your median home price is $763,000. And your median rent is about $2,000 a month. Now, you've heard me talk about Ridgewood before. I did a video just about Ridgewood alone, and I've talked about it in my best towns to live in Bergen County. Ridgewood is very, very popular because of that downtown and the schools. Ridgewood, as we know, is a top-ranked school district within the state. So that makes it very attractive. A, a lot of people just like to go there because of the, the downtown. You also have a lot of parks there, too, and the accessibility to New York City. It's about an hour commute by train or bus from Ridgewood. So that makes it very desirable. Now we all know the property taxes, they're not cheap in Ridgewood. Property taxes are going to run you about $18,000 a year. Coming in at number two, it's Mountain Lakes. Mountain Lakes is located in Morris County. And if you're looking for a rural feel, Mountain Lakes is for you. 
It's a small town with a population of 4,200 people. Your median home value, it's a little high. You're looking at $867,000 and your rent is going to average about $1,400 per month. Mountain Lakes was actually ranked number one best place to raise a family, according to niche.com. So when you look at the reviews here on Niche, they have nothing but wonderful things to say about this town. Now, it, since it is located out in Morris County, it's a little bit further west in New Jersey. As far as accessibility to New York City, probably not the best place for you to live if you have to work in New York City, unless you go in like maybe once a week and you don't mind that commute. But there are a lot of corporations located out in Morris County. So as far as employment is concerned, you can find work out within Morris County. Now the taxes in Mountain Lakes, the average property tax bill in 2020 was $21,000. Oh yes, it's not cheap. If you're looking for that rural feel and you want that small town feel, the Mountain Lakes is definitely the place to be. The Mountain League School District is a top-rated school. As a matter of fact, they are ranked the number one school district within Morris County. So your taxes, although they're expensive, they are going pretty far there in Mountain Lakes. Okay, and coming in at number one, the best place to live in New Jersey, Princeton Junction. It's a small town with a population of 2,300 people. The median home value in Princeton Junction is $548,000, and your median rent is about $1,000 a month. So as far as affordability, this is a really good option. Princeton Junction is actually an unincorporated community located within the West Windsor Township. So the kids end up attending school at the West Windsor public school system. And those schools were obviously ranked pretty high. Now the taxes in the West Windsor Township, so obviously it's Princeton Junction, you're going to be paying taxes to West Windsor Township. The tax bills aren't that bad. They're actually $14,000 a year, according to the 2020 average tax bill. So I can see why this place was named the number one place to live in New Jersey. The affordability is there. The schools are, are top notch. You do have access to New York City. And yeah, overall, that's a great place. That's the top 10 best places to live, according to niche.com. And if you found this video helpful, I suggest you go watch this one over here if you want to learn more about the Garden State. Thank you so much for watching me today. I am Jackie Baker with Coldwell Bank. Banker Realty, and I will see you next time.